Let us now try and understand leaf rule. Last in, first out. It's the same example. 1000 containers at rupees 50, 2000 containers at 55, 700 at 60 and 1300 at 62. These were the purchases. Assuming there was an opening inventory of 500 containers at rupees 48 and the sales amounted to 4500 containers at 75, determine the closing stock, cost of goods sold and profit under LIFO method of inventory valuation. LIFO is last in, first out. It is assumed, it is assumed that the goods purchased last would be issued first. Please note that this is a matter of valuation. It is not necessarily, it is not necessary that the goods purchased last are used first, are physically or actually used first. However, for valuation purposes, to compute cost of goods sold or to compute the value of inventory, we assume that the goods which were bought last are sold first, which are bought last are used up first. Therefore, in this example also, we would have a closing inventory of 1000 units. Since we purchased 5000 units, we had an opening inventory of 500 units and we sold 4500 units. We are talking of a closing stock of 1000 units. What would be the value of these 1,000 units? The sale of 4,500 units is assumed to be first of the batch purchased on January 31st. The goods which were last in, which came in last. Therefore, 1,300 into 62, this is the cost of goods sold. 700 into 60, that was the next set of goods which came in. 2000 into 55 and 500, since totally we sold only 4500. This 500 of rupees 50. This would be the cost of goods sold, which would amount to 2,57,600. And the balance of inventory consists of 500 units purchased on 1st January at the rate of rupees 50 and 500 units of opening stock, which were worth rupees 48. This would amount to a total of 49,000. Therefore, under leaf 4, we'll just go through this table. There is no change in the sales. This 4,500 containers into 75 is given. Opening inventory is 500 containers at rupees 48 is 24,000. Purchases were the same as before, amounting to 282,600. However, closing inventory consists of 500 units of opening inventory at rupees 24,000 and 500 units the first purchase on January 1st of 50, 25,000. 49,000 is the closing inventory. Therefore, the cost of goods sold is opening inventory plus purchases minus closing inventory 2 lakh 57,600. 2 lakh 57,600. And profit would be sales minus cost of goods sold, giving us 79,900. In times of rising prices, 
when there is inflation and prices are rising what happens under the lifo method is that the most costly goods are issued first therefore the cost of goods sold goes up the closing inventory consists of stock which was purchased earliest and therefore they are the least expensive goods as a result in times of rising prices under lifo we would have lower profits this is because inventory is valued at a lower price since inventory is lower profits are also going to be lower also the cost of goods sold is high because they are matched they are the recent cost they are the current cost under lifo the current cost is considered while we are computing the cost of goods sold therefore in times of inflation under lifo we would get lower profits as compared to fifo method we can compare both lifo and fifo and the effects of these valuation 